This is the Andres Segovia Show. Hey everyone, it's Andres. Welcome to another episode of the program. I'm excited to unbox these bad boys. These are the Project Rock Over the Ear Training Headphones. In other words, they're gym headphones by Under Armour in collaboration with JBL. JBL is the one that does the power for these things, or at least power these headphones. So I'm excited to open these up. This is not a discussion about the Rock himself. I just, I like these, the way these look, the way these feel. Um, and man, I'm a big fan of the previous ones because voila, I did have the previous ones. I got them in the black and white theme, which look really sweet. Uh, I just noticed as soon as I got the box though, see the JBL branding on these, this thing is way bigger. So I'm curious to see if these are actually bigger headphones because these only come in one size. And I must admit, uh, these were a little tight, uh, but at least they hold firm when I'm doing like, um, I'm a heavy uh, training workout, even when I'm jumping around uh, somewhat, but uh, at least they, they hold on when you're uh, lifting weights and things. They're not going to uh, jostle and fall off your your head. That's what I like about it. Now, one of the things that the old one has that's supposed to be carryover to this is the bionic hearing. So one of these sides of the headphones, you press the button and then it'll, um, it'll turn down the automatic noise cancellation so you, it'll let some noise pass through it'll sound a little bit like a bionic hearing for the most part uh, it will sound a little weird kind of grainy it'll lower the volume that you're listening to let some air in amplify the sound so you're in a gym it like i was it, it would be useful in that case it even worked for the smaller sets which were these so uh, i just like the way these these feel and here's the this is what it looks like outside the box uh and I like that it had ventilated case, hard case. They're the headphones. One thing I, the downsides to the old one though, because uh, it is the old one, and I might as well just show you what the boxes look like while, while I'm at it. The old one, uh, and I'll just show you, I guess the props with the headphones. If the battery died out, which didn't last all that long, at least you could hardwire directly to one of these two sides. I can't really see it from here, but uh, one of these two sides you can hardwire directly with a cable with if you had a headphone jack on your listening device, with your music player. The downside is though, that you had to carry the one this one came with because even though the output is 3.5, the input to this is a 2.5 millimeter. So you had to use the one that came with this and that sucked. Uh, the other thing, a micro USB uh, charging. Oh, here's the 2.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack. And there's the micro USB, which always made it a chore when I didn't carry that cable and the batteries died out on me. Uh, so yeah, that sucked. But other than that, um, a lot of the feel for this, it, even though it does feel plasticky for the most part, it doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It stretches very well and, and it holds tight. So that's pretty cool. And I've had it for over a year and, and I really train hard on these things. Uh, I try to keep it as clean as possible too, but uh, it does have some scuff marks. And these uh, ear cuffs are removable, but there's no way to buy replacements for them. So that's the downside. But still, I'm excited for this new one that I'm about to unbox here. All right, that took a little longer to open because I don't have my batarang to open it for me. So let's see, I'm in frame. Yeah, I'm in frame. Let's pull this open. Okay. All right. By the way, I don't know if I give a shout out, but a shout out to Flossie Carter. He's the one who brought attention to these, like his fans brought the attention to him. And now I get to check these out. Uh, there's some extra items down there. So a lot of noise here, sorry. Let's check out what's in here. I'm gonna assume here like the manuals and things that people don't read, haha, <laughs> but I actually do. Um, there should be some replacement parts in it. Ooh, I better block that. That's a Under Armour thingy-majigger. There's a sticker, quick start. Okay, I don't see the... All right, maybe it's in the box. If I like this, the cable or something is probably in the box and stuff. But yeah, there's a lot more documents than the old one brought. All right, let me move this to the side. Okay, new case, carry on. Yeah, big time different already, okay. Well, the ventilations are on the side instead of the top as it was on this. So how do they fold them? Well, how's it organized? Uh-huh. Okay, so yeah, they do fold different. Um, interesting, interesting choices here. Oh, because they don't fold all the way. I see. This is, I guess, a protection for the headphones. All right, well, let's move the cases out of the way. And as I assumed, uh, the wires and things were inside that box. Okay, already I can tell you the ear cups are the big difference. Literally, 
much bigger. So they're going to go over the ear, it seems, instead of on the ear that these are. These are on the ear. These look like they're over the ear. Oh, let me try them on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are over the ear instead of on the ear. So that should definitely help with the complaints of the original one that were causing headaches because uh, they would squeeze in on top of the ears. I mean, they still look really cool. But man, these feel way more comfortable. This is the button I was telling you about. It's probably to uh, trigger the bionic hearing or maybe uh, Alexa and things. Uh, this thing does bend a little different because it swivels the headphones like that. That's something this one can't do. This one can't do that swivel. And these new ones can. This is USB type C charging. Yeah, that's what the box says. So I'm gonna believe it. All right, I'm excited to try these out, honestly. Um, I can't say I'm entirely a fan of this uh, headband here. Uh, experience has taught me that um, this might not age well unless they use really premium material. I mean, this is soft, but it's uh, this is like a leatherette feel. I hope it's more rubber than leatherette or else this thing's gonna come right off. Whereas this um, was a more grippy matte texture that didn't rub off. So we'll see how, how this one uh, handles um, the, the tortures of, a, of gym life. But yeah, these actually feel really good and comfortable to wear. I'm excited to try them out. Now there is one more note about the sound though. That means I can't do a direct comparison because on ear versus over the ear, that means more sounds gonna stay in here and active noise cancellation is a big deal in that case where as, as opposed to this being on the ear and not really making a seal around your ear. But one thing that I didn't know and Flossie Carter didn't know either until it was pointed out is the tuning. So JBL does a tuning and on the box, it says right here, which is why it wasn't rated all that high because people, it doesn't really say it there. It says, uh, bold sound tuned for sport with rich bass to crush your workout and active noise canceling to eliminate uh, background noise uh, for ultimate focus. So apparently you do need the JBL app. So I wonder if I could tune these also with the JBL app. I'm gonna try that and report back, but that's the first look and comparison from the previous generation to the new generation headphones of uh, the Under Armour and Project Rock headphones product, I guess experiment that they're doing. And I gotta admit, I like what I see. I'm just curious to try them out. now. There's a difference there on the bands there. The old ones say blood, sweat, respect. The other one just has the, the logo of the rock. Man, that's like three logos there. Okay, got it. All right, but that looks cool. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Andres Segovia Show. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay in the know. If you want a question featured on the program or you never know it could be an episode all on its own, you can message me at any of the social media links available at my website, www.theandresegovia.com. Also available there are all the directories where you can find my show. Remember to also follow me on YouTube and Instagram where other exclusive content resides. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the program. I'll see you on the next one.